All I wanted was some cinnamon protein ice cream and I got looking around online and there's all these different flavors and different brands and sweeteners and stuff and I just could not decide. So I decided, hey, let me go ahead and just buy all of them that look good and uh, I'm gonna make a video on it and we're gonna test them all out and see which is best. So in this video, I'm gonna be making four different protein ice creams and I've actually got five of them up here. This protein powder right here, caged plantain, protein. This is their cinnamon roll flavor. I did not enjoy. The texture just wasn't quite right and the flavor was a little off and it makes for an okay protein shake but for a Ninja Creamy I want something that's just right and that's what we're here to do is find the best blend of this cinnamon protein. So um, from here though it is kind of hard to choose because we've got actually four different flavors of cinnamon protein. So this one here this is Clean Simple Eats and this is their Snickerdoodle flavor. Ghost, they have a Cinnabon flavor, a really nice flavor, actually matches the, the, you know, the taste of a Cinnabon. And it kind of reminds me of you go to the mall and you smell Cinnabon from across the way. And uh, this flavor is shockingly just like that. So uh, next I've got this PE Science. Uh, this is their Cinnamon Delight flavor. This kind of has like a cinnamon graham cracker on the, the label here. Uh, I think it tastes a lot like a snickerdoodle cookie, but it's still really good as well. And then finally, we've got this Quest brand here, and this is Cinnamon Crunch. So basically think like Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Now, all of these two are different types of protein and different combinations of protein and different sweeteners in here. So this brand here, Quest, they, they make, make low carb type of stuff. Think of people doing like a keto diet. So uh, if I look at the label here, we see that uh, they have less than one gram of sugar, one gram of fiber, and then the sweetener in it is erythritol. So um, also the protein blend in here, this is a mixture of uh, whey protein isolate and casein protein, which is the combination I've really liked in other protein powders for making a nice, smooth, creamy ice cream. Now, uh, this Clean Simple Eats one, uh, this has a, uh, this is whey protein isolate with um, stevia and monk fruit as the sweetener. And then I get to these two, and these are vegan brands or vegan blends. So I'm not vegan myself, but I do not eat meat. So I just figured, hey, I wanted to try these vegan powders and kind of see what that's like. So um, one key thing when you're choosing a vegan powder is you want to choose a vegan powder that that's from a variety of different plant sources. And that's going to give you a full amino acid uh, profile because otherwise if you're vegan you're going to have a hard time getting all those essential amino acids and getting uh, those amino acids from a variety of different plant sources is going to give you complete protein but anyways so this one here is um this is pea protein and rice protein in here and then this one has pea protein organic pumpkin seed and watermelon seed in the ghost powder so oh uh sucralose is the sweetener in this one and then we have stevia is the sweetener in this. So all sorts of different combinations of sweeteners and proteins and just flavor profiles they're trying to do. And we're gonna you know, test them all out in a little bit. So I'm gonna start mixing all these up just with my normal stock recipe, which is just gonna be some almond milk, a little bit of gum, depending on the gums that are included in these already. And then I like including a little bit of coffee creamer in there for a little bit more sweetness. So I'm gonna mix these all up and then I'm gonna put them in the freezer overnight and then we're going to come back tomorrow where it's going to be go time where we're going to try all four different flavors and pick a winner. It's the next day and I'm going to start making my cinnamon ice creams. I got my four spoons ready to go here and we're going to be making four different ice creams. But I've only got one Ninja Creamy here so let me tell you how this is going to go. Each pint I'm going to let sit and defrost for about 10 minutes before running it through this machine. So 10 minutes has been kind of the, the right amount of time in my experience with these light ice creams to kind of get it to soften up, especially around the outer perimeter of the ice cream because otherwise it can be kind of icy around that part. Now, some people like just tossing it right into the machine. I, I find that it makes it a little bit uh, icy around the edges. So uh, that's what I'll be doing, 10 minutes of defrost and then I'm going to run it through this machine once on the light ice cream setting. I'm going to add a little bit of almond milk to it and then I'm going to run it again one more time on the light ice cream setting. So after that I'm going to take it out, take a few bites and give you kind of my initial impressions of it. Our first ice cream we are going to do is clean simple eats and this is the uh, snickerdoodle flavor and if you buy a larger package it's going to look something like this. This is a two pound package of s'mores which I've enjoyed so far but we're talking snickerdoodle clean simple eats so I'm going to go ahead and start running that through my machine and then we're going to dig in. Okay. 
Okay, we just finished up our second spin. Let's check it out. Let's see, we've, oh, it's always a good sign when the lid sticks to the top because then you get this nice little peak here. You always love to see that. So let's check out just kind of the texture of this ice cream here. So you can see hopefully how just nice, light and fluffy this is here. Now this is a really uh, light ice cream, as you can see by just the general softness of it when, with the peak that was on it, which is something I liked a lot. It's kind of these soft serve like ice creams. And uh, the flavor of it though, this, uh, I, I might actually add a little bit more cinnamon to this. It's got a nice spiced flavor, but it doesn't like hit you too hard with the cinnamon. I guess there's a little bit in the aftertaste I get to it as well. It's got a nice balance though. So this is, a, this is definitely a good contender here. I really like how soft this is and light. So next up, let's go with, we're gonna go with Ghost Cinnabon Powder up next. So let's go ahead and start running that now. And we can see this one's really powdery on the top here. All right, second spin, let's go. So this one's not fluffy. You can actually see it almost looks like a cinnamon roll in there. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and try this out though. So the flavor on this is really on point for Cinnabon. You, you kind of have that, you know, that cream cheese frosting that you get on a Cinnabon cinnamon roll. Somehow you get both that flavor and also like the buttery cinnamon-ness of a, a cinnamon roll. Uh, the one thing though this doesn't have going for is it doesn't quite have the same texture. And I'm not sure if that's because it's the, the vegan powders and it's a little less creamy or fluffy, or if it's, uh, you know, if it's the ghost brand itself. And, and I can't help but think maybe using a different milk might be the solution. So overall, uh, I, I'm enjoying the flavor of this one a lot but the texture is just not there. And it kind of reminds me of, you have ice cream, which is this really creamy, smoothie um, dessert, but then there's also just frozen dessert and that's because it doesn't have the right, you know, solids in it and everything. And, and this kind of feels like it's that, where it can be a little bit gritty, um, not icy, a little gritty, but uh, the flavor is on point. So um, this is gonna be my last bite and then I'm gonna throw this in the freezer. And then let's see, we're gonna go with uh, Quest up next here with their cinnamon crunch powder. After one spin. All right, let's check this one out. Here we go. And we got another one where the blade sticks to the top, a nice sign. We've got a nice peak top here. Let's go ahead and check this out. So the texture of this one's a lot lighter, just like that clean Simple Eats protein here. Just on that first bite, I can tell this is a lot more of a, a sweet ice cream than the clean Simple Eats, which is a little bit more of like a balanced or spiced flavor. This is definitely a sweeter cinnamon flavor. It's also got some nice uh, touch of vanilla to it as well. And again, very nice texture here. This isn't icy at all. This is really nice and fluffy. And it really matches that uh, cinnamon toast crunch flavor and the sweetness I'd expect from something like that. So that is our Quest powder. And we got one more to go. And that is gonna be PE Science here, and we've got the Cinnamon Delight flavor. So let's mix that up now. Okay, so this one here kind of looks like the ghost powder here where it's not fluffing up and everything. This is definitely a little bit thicker of an ice cream. Let's go ahead and just try it out. The first thing I notice is this is a lot like the ghost powder in that it's not super light and fluffy and creamy. It's, it's got a little bit of grittiness to the powder. And so it doesn't have that smooth, luxurious feel that, that you'd expect of you know, some, uh, some high quality ice cream. So 
it's uh, definitely a little bit, um, I wouldn't call it icy, gritty is, is the best way to describe it. Now the flavor is very cinnamon heavy in this. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a nice flavor. And it does kind of match the, the cinnamon graham cracker, which is kind of showing on the label here. Um, a little bit of a snickerdoodle flavor too. But it is not the, the light creamy ice cream that I get from um, the other two. Now, one thing I found that helps the texture on this a little bit is by using applesauce in this ice cream. It thickens it up just a little bit, but it is going to change the flavor profile quite a bit. So it ends up tasting a little bit more like uh, an apple pie, except like a cinnamon apple pie, except um, except it doesn't have apple pie chunks, so it's not quite as satisfying. But I did enjoy that flavor. And to do that, basically, I left out the coffee creamer out of it, and then I put in just under half of a cup, probably a third of a cup of applesauce in this, and it kind of gave that nice apple cinnamon pie flavor. But uh, I could also see maybe adding a few apple chunks into this as well to get a nice apple pie. As is, unfortunately, this ice cream is kind of lacking that smooth creaminess. It's more of that frozen dessert than, uh, than ice cream here. So let's get all of our ice creams out. We're gonna do a quick comparison of all of them. And then uh, I'm gonna tell you what I like best. So we got our four ice creams all out here and they're all at a good temperature for eating. So I got my two vegan powders over here and then the two whey based ones are closer to me. So uh, both the vegan ones, they had a really similar texture where there was some grittiness to it or graininess and it wasn't ice, it was just how the powder is. And I'm not sure if that could be um, eliminated just by using some different milk, maybe cashew milk, which is a little creamier, could help out with that. But um, at least with almond milk, uh, almond coconut milk, which is what I've been using, uh, I don't love that texture. And so, and so I'm not sure I would go with these two if whey is on the menu for you. So I definitely enjoyed the uh, Clean Simple Eats and the Quest powders better. Uh, but this is not going to be the last time I buy these vegan powders. And the reason for that is I found I really, really enjoy cinnamon uh, protein in my oatmeal. And the vegan powders somehow just seem to match that the texture and the consistency I want there really, really well. And the flavor works. So the grittiness that I get in the flavor in my ice cream works really well in oatmeal. So I'm definitely going to be buying these again for oatmeal. But uh, for ice cream, though, definitely going to be looking to do one of these two here. So... Um, I got my clean, simple eats, and I really want to do this last taste test between the two here. And coming back to this one, it does taste, I, I'm tasting a little bit more cinnamon in it than I did in the first, the first taste test. And uh, it, it's a more balanced spice than, than the sweetness I get out of the Quest one. And the Quest really matches the flavor that you're going to get out of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And uh, ultimately... The Quest powder is the winner for me, though. It's a close one. It's a toss-up between these two. So um, if you do buy the vegan powders, though, try some other milks with them. And let me know in the comments below if you found a better blend that works for you. So like I said, with oatmeal, I found I really, really enjoy this. Basically, I'll heat up half a cup of oatmeal in the microwave for two minutes with some water. And then put three quarters of a scoop of either of these powders in and it makes for a really nice treat instead of something like a Quaker oatmeal where it's lots of sugar in it. You get a lot of protein and I actually like the flavor a lot better. So, but when it comes to the creamy, the Quest Cinnamon Crunch powder is the winner. And uh, if you really want to treat yourself, you can put a little Cinnamon Toast Crunch in there. About a quarter cup of Cinnamon Toast Crunch is going to be about 40 calories. Add a lot of uh, carbs to it and a lot of sugar to it but it's gonna be a really nice mix-in. Uh, I would not use the mix-in feature on the creamy though for uh, any cereal because it's just gonna pulverize it. So uh, thank you for watching this video. Uh, if you wanna see more videos like this, be sure to check out my vanilla comparison and also I'll have a chocolate one coming to the channel very soon. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one.